What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly progress from a long board to a short board. I'll teach you how to build the physical requirements and the skill requirements in order to do so smoothly. If this is the first time that you're here, my name is Kyle Russ. This is Hydro Mind. I'm teaching surfers how to catch more waves and catch better waves. If you think your life will be improved by adding more waves and better waves, then consider subscribing so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get to the video. All right, so paddle strength is number one. Because when you're on a long board, you have a lot more glide. It takes a lot less energy to move. So when you just transition to a short board, you sink more, so there's more drag. So it takes a lot more energy to get out past the break, to move around, but especially it takes more power to get into those waves to match the speed of the wave. So you got to have, you gotta level up your paddle strength before you shorten your board. So the best way to do that, so unless you can surf every single day, your paddle strength kind of goes like this. So when you're in the water, you start to get stronger. When you're out of the water, all the time you spend on land, it goes down. So you kind of just flatten out, right? It just goes straight across. So it can be hard to progress your paddle strength unless you can surf every single day. So what I recommend is building your paddle strength between surf sessions at home. So I have a paddle strength system. It's called the Peak Surf System. Um, it's been used by thousands of surfers in 40 plus countries. And it's just a paddle simulation training at home. So I got these paddle bands here. So these actually hook into your door right by the hinge. So you close your door on an anchor and these will pull tight and it simulates a paddle stroke. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. So it's really, really simple. So it's, all it does is simulate the paddle stroke. So you want to, when you do it, you want to keep your chest up and your head up like you're paddling and then you just pull it through like this. It's super, super simple, but it's really, really important because it hits all the paddle muscles at the same time, and these actually simulate the resistance of the water, plus a few extra pounds, so you can get a lot done in a really short amount of time. You can do it while you watch TV. So if you want these, if you join my training platform, HydroMind U, there'll be a description down below. You can get those for free. I'll pay for the bands, I'll pay for the shipping, but that's not what's important right now. So all I want, the point I wanna make here is, you really, really gotta build your paddle strength if you're gonna make that transition and it's gonna be smooth and you can get into that short board. So paddle strength, number one, do not miss it. All right, number two is the pop-up. Now the pop-up becomes a lot harder than a short board for a few reasons. Number one, the board is a lot less stable, but there's also kind of ways when you have a long board to cheat on the pop-up. And I'll give you a little demonstration here. So you'll see some people do this and some people teach people to do this when they are learning to pop up on a long board. I tell people never to do it this way because it will hinder your progression, but I'll show you what I mean. So on a long board, when you're playing, you tend to have your chest a lot more farther forward, so you can put your toes on the board, right? So people will tell you, because it's easier, you can pop up onto your toes like this and easily get up. But when you're on a short board, that is impossible. So if you are surfing a long board and you're doing that, I recommend stopping it right away because that's gonna be a roadblock between you and getting to your shortboard. So what you wanna do is pop up off your thighs. So, let's just get this out of the way. Now if you look where your chest is here, I ride it about here, see my, oh, can't see. My toes are hanging out. So you wanna be able to pop up like this. So what you have to do is you want to lift your thighs up off the ground, so it's almost like a scorpion move. So no toes touching, like that. So this takes something misleading about the term pop-up, because it's less of a pop-up and more of a pull through, because it's about getting your legs underneath you. So the, the up part, you can do just with your arms. So you can get your chest up off the board, right? So that doesn't take much, but if you are just to pop up, you'd be back here, right? So it's all about getting the lower part of your body underneath the upper part of your body, which is up here. So it's toes off the ground, like this. So practice to doing that way. Now, I have a bunch of workouts that you can do. They're body weight workouts you can do at home. I'll post the link right above here. So if you click there, um, it'll take you to those workouts in order to build the core strength, the hip strength, you know, and, the, and the mobility to be able to do that, to get your legs under you like that. And Another key point here is that when you practice on land, you're in a stable, static environment, right? But when you're in the water, you're in a liquid environment. So you can actually pull your board towards you too. So you don't have to come forward as much. You can kind of meet in the middle. So it's a little bit different. As well, because you're a little less stable, you gotta have more core strength. So work on those workouts that are in the link down below or above, 
and that'll help you get to that point so you are, have a better, stronger, faster pull through in order to get on that shortboard. All right, third and final tip is how to read waves. Now on a long board, you can get into the wave on a lot of different positions. So if you look at my little drawing here, this is the beach, this little brown line. This is our nice green wave, it's starting to barrel. So if you're on a long, this is the pocket of the wave right here, right? So this is right where the lip ends. But on a long board, because you have a lot more glide and you have a lot more buoyancy, the wave can catch you and push you forward in a lot more different spots. So it's the wave is most powerful here and it's weaker, weaker, weaker as you get down the line. So in a long board, you can get into this wave probably all the way down to here, depending on the size of your board and how well you can paddle. But anyways, so if you see someone on a long board, typically they'll be sitting there waiting in the lineup and when a wave comes, they just face the beach and start paddling in that direction. Now, what's different about a long board is you, got, you have to be here. You have to be in the pocket, so you have to be in the right spot. So, Every single wave is different, every break's different. So it, it, there's, I can't really say always surf this way and it applies every wave, but this one trick, if you apply it and you rock this, it'll really, really help you get into waves better when you are on a shortboard. And that is to, instead of paddling towards the beach, 99% of the time, you're gonna have to paddle laterally, so parallel to the beach. So when you see the wave coming, you're either gonna have to go this way or you're gonna have to go this way in order to get into the pocket. So if you're right here, when the wave comes, you gotta go this way to get into the pocket. But if you're sitting right here, so on and so on. So instead of paddling towards the beach, paddle left or right, be looking over your shoulder, see where that wave, see where that pocket is and try and time it. And that is so important and that'll go so, so far from progressing from a long board into a short board. So you got your paddle strength, you got your pop-up technique, and you got your ability to read waves by paddling laterally to get into the pocket. That transition from long board to short board is gonna be so, so easy. One more important tip is a lot of time people will try to progress too fast. So if you are very, very new, enjoy the long board. Um, but practice the proper technique, build your paddle strength every single day, be out there, Try to read the waves a lot better. Try to paddle laterally on your longboard as well. And then you cannot lose. You'll get there eventually. You'll be on the shortboard, you'll be ripping. And that's it. That's all you need, really. And you just, you just need to put the time in, in the water. So that's it. So my name is Kyle Ross with Hydro Mind. If you like these kind of videos, it'll help me help more surfers. If you could like and subscribe to this channel, like this video, and all that great stuff. Again, my name is Kyle Ross with Hydro Mind. Thanks a lot for watching.